Hello everyone. This is Holtos playing Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and we are ready to go this way, but I'm not doing these battlefields just yet. We're gonna go to this lovely uh the, this lovely I need to see its name. Wintery Temple! It's the best temple. As you can see here, you know, you got you got like this, this circular circle here. It's it's very round. It's 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 got it's got roundness to it, and it is exceedingly exciting. Now that I have shown off the majesty that is Wintery Cave, we shall continue. But first, I have to exit Wintery Cave. You know, it's nice to see, but I gotta I gotta keep going. So onwards to the Focus Tower. Where we shall do our best to show, to, to see what else is here. Uh, um, as an aside, by research, I found out there's a couple enemies in this game that only show up in battlefields. Mint Mint was an example of one of those. Uh, some awful news made Captain Mac race for home. Anyway, don't worry about that. Go do the thing. Hey, what's the statue for? Hey, g g oh, whatever. So, um, yeah, that, there's like a jelly that it opened. I got a Venus shield. Oh, I think I got a, a key at a point. And, and that key was like, hey, look at me. I am a key. And I'm just like, yes, indeed, you are. The end. Over here. Yeah, I found Blizzard. Now I can cast Icy Ice on things. So by simply doing that, um, I go back. I, I moved that thing. Very exciting, I know. Where's it gonna lead now? Now, now we gotta go around. If I'm remembering my my gaming correctly, I got I got, I got to go back this way. And by doing that, um, now I can go down here. And oh, it's it's down there. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do the, the coin thing. That That's a key thing. So you go here, you go here, you go there, you go somewhere, and then you find out where the nearby deli is, and you open up that deli, and you find out they have explosives. And then you freak out. So just be careful, you know? If you find explosives in a deli, I would suggest telling somebody, you know, don't, don't not tell anybody, because, you know... Explosives and the deli don't really mix too well. It, it's likely to cause uh, some kind of major indigestion, and overall, you know, it's better it's better to have loved and lost than to find explosives in a deli. So, just be careful, you know. Avoid delis if you can help it, you know, because you know, explosives and delis—it's a very common thing in in some circles. Just. Heed my warning. We're gonna we're gonna go here now. And look, three, four, five battlefields. Let's go to Fireberg. Hello, Fireberg. A guy came and said he could open any lock. Well, you know, that's that's nice to hear. Also. Here's, here's, a, here's a lady, and she's like, Have some refreshments! And I'm like, no. Oh, hey, it's this guy. He's here. Let's listen to the band. Your potion. And over here... Seeds! Let's just, let's, let's just buy 15 of them. There. Seeds are exceedingly powerful. Pretty much means you can spam magic without worry. And this person sells explosives if you want them. But I believe... Oh, hey. Look, it's Reuben! Have you heard about the Crystal of Fire? I can't deal with it. I gotta help my dad! Okay, I'll help you. He's very bold. Oh, only Dad's friend has a thing, but he shut himself in, and so Reuben joins us. 
And now that Reuben has joined us, we're gonna get some refreshers. It's vitally important that we refresh ourselves with the power of justice. A mask lets you see the monsters through the gas in the volcano. That will come in handy later. What's over here? Well, there's a lady. And she's like, hey, you want to buy my battle axe? Okay! Uh, I hope I'm happy with my battle axe, too. Battle axe. Now I have a 117 battle axe. It's nice. It goes whoosh. There's a nice thud noise. And over here should be another one of those panels. Yep. I don't have the uh, hourglass panel just yet. That will have to come in time. And that, that's, a, that's like a, a stump with lava in it. I don't know. Uh, there's a ton of monsters in the mines up north. But I'm not up north, so we're not there yet. I'm gonna go say hi to this guy. And also, there's a sneaky thing this way, because you can tell because there's a, there's, a, there's a door over here. It doesn't give you much, just some heal potions, but it's certainly there. Hey, buddy. It's locked! Well, if only there was someone out here that we could use and get help from that could undo locks. Unfortunately, no such guy exists, but there's this guy. We want to go into this guy's house, but we want to get in. And then he just gives us a skeleton key. Because, you know, he, he just has like, he has so many of them, he just, he just doesn't mind giving us one. And we're like, thanks! And then we went in. Huzzah! Hey, buddy. I saw monsters in the volcano! Only a Mega Grenade can free them. Just throw it! And now I have Mega Grenades. So that leaves me with... All but one of the second level... Actually, that's the final level of the explosives weapons. So 162 divided by 3 is a good, healthy amount that is like... Let's see, 50... 54? 54 damage apiece. I think I did the math right. I'm, I'm doing it on the fly here in my head. Yeah, if it's three dudes, it's 54. Uh, 162. Two, that's 81 if there's only one. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a bunch of battlefields, so I will see you all <laughs> as I progress through them. Last one. Very simple one, especially since Freezer Crab is weak to axe attacks. Apparently that's an axe. And... That's a good 744 experience, all right? Our last battle in this battlefield is the Almighty Fanquid. And goodbye, Almighty Fanquid. I got Exit, which is a humendously important spell to have. It just lets me leave a dungeon without having to walk all the way back out. As you can probably tell, that's going to be very nice for future usage. Over here in this battlefield, we encounter a one of those enemies I was talking about, ones that's only in battlefields. Jelly right here, and it's dead. I got about 900 GP, that's pretty good. And last one of this features the Sting Rat, which I believe I have not encountered before now. And Ruben's having a bit of a poison problem, but he's alright. I got the Gemini Crest. Ah, oh, yes, that. I just leveled up in the previous battle. And also, here's another unique to Battlefield enemy, the Plant Man. The Plant Man is very... Well, that was the battlefield. But we're not done just yet. Looky here! There's another battlefield. Oh boy! Coming to you live, it's Battlefield in the Morning! Featuring our guest band, the Plant Man! Watch as they get cut down by axes. One of which is like a fallen chain. A uh, morning star. I wouldn't exactly call that um, a, you know, an axe, but I guess. I, I would consider it like part of the flail group. The, the ball and chain. The, 
hold and swing with heavy we weight type thing, not a X, but I mean, if, if you want to refer to it as such, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stop you, but one more battlefield. And the red caps are here, and they stare at me in su suspense, and then they punch my confused man. I'm sad about this, because I was going to test uh, how Blizzard, how well Blizzard works, but uh, apparently not. Well, actually, no, I can still test it. Watch this strategy. Blizzard defense. Have a snowman, Red Cap. You're weak to it. And I have won my first wizard spell, Thunder. And man, that was like seven or eight battlefields. Let's see, two there, three, two over there. Let's see, that's that's seven battlefields, and I haven't hardly done a thing. Oof. Well, it's it's all right. We'll keep going. I'm just gonna just gonna rest. Can't rest like that, you know. I gotta gotta talk to the person, and be like, "Hey, I, I want to rest." Ah, yes. You're not selling refreshers. You're selling refreshments. I, although I don't exactly like mint. You can keep the mint. I'll just take the refresh part. All right, let's go ahead and at last have some interesting encounters with some foes and have it not just be chopped to pieces in this lovely little adventure we call a playthrough. To the mine! And I'll go ahead and save. Just in case. Though I honestly don't think I'm in any danger of anything shenanigan you have. We're just gonna, we're just gonna slide our way into this skeleton. He's a skeleton. His name is uh, Red Bone. Alright, you two are gonna attack different ones, just in case. Okay. And Redbone's like, Haha! I have dealt slight damage to yourself. And I'm just I'm just a little displeased at that, but let's let's demonstrate the power of the throw. Kaboom. That lets me go in here where there are dudes like ninjas. Alright, well. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Wow, where'd they all go? That's quite impressive. I'm, I'm generally surprised when just playing a tune makes everyone run, but I guess that's pretty normal, huh? You know, me, my singing has been well known to cause many a person to run in fright. And it just gets me some healing cure potions. That's uh. That's sadly, sadly, items in this game, not exactly the greatest of stuff. Still looking to get that cure spell, li not cure spell, life spell on myself. As it stands, I can't do anything if my good buddy, uh, Ruben there has any problems with indigestion or other such things and falls prey to that mighty feeling of doom. But, you know, here, here's just nothing. It's it's a very exciting bit of nothing, as you can see. You get a nice little view of the, uh... I guess that's supposed to be, like, ash or something? Or ghosts? I guess there's plenty of ghosts around here. This is the ghostly mine, after all. So I'm just gonna ride this guy and be like, Hello, let's go see what's over here. And so we find some Skellermans. And Skellermans are well known to be weak to explosives. So I guess we'll explode the Skeleton. Kaboom. He's not actually weak to it, but it does one-shot him. I thought for sure skeletons were weak to that. So I guess they're weak to water, maybe. So I guess I could do that instead. Let's see how this does. Uh, yep, and yes. Except it didn't kill. Oh, sorrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's that's a little disappointing. I was hoping it would one-shot two, two dudes, but nope. It didn't one-shot, so... Hmm. Guess I could focus it on single targets. And given I now have uh, um, the means to heal my magic, uh, that's a problem. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, yep. Okay, we'll take these two out real quick. Oh, what have we got? Double red cap and flazard surprise. Cool. It's, it's blizzard and you hit this guy. Let's see if I can take out two red caps. With a snowman. No. Oh, shrugs, you just don't do enough damage. Uh, it's okay, I'll just do it again. Uh, not enough for taking out multiples. It's, it's very, it's very sorrowful, but I guess I could take out one with it. Uh, you, you hit that one with it. It'll, it'll be good. Uh, Kaboom. Snowman. A multiplying zombie says hi. Oh, okay, let's let's do it again. You can't stop me forever, multiplication zombie. I know division. I'm assuming this is just for yeah, it's for a chest. I'll go ahead and uh, take out this guy also. You know. Blizzard on one guy and he's just got another. I miss. It's okay, I got a snowman. You know, if you ever see a skeleton come at you, just build a snowman, pick it up, and drop it on the skeleton's head, and it will work pretty well. At least that's what I think. And I got the Charm Claw! I finally have the last of the weapons, and this one does a heckin' lot of things, including sleep, confusion, and death. At least I think that's death. Hard to tell. It might just be... No, it's not poison. I, I sometimes wish there was, like, a... I think there's probably a little, like, cheat sheet guide for what all these different symbols means from the, the manual potentially and I just don't remember at this point in time but it's okay we're gonna fight a ninja but that ninja is actually a zombie so it's all good let's show off the claw okay that was that was, that was beautiful the good good clawing uh, there buddy honestly I think I ended up Finding the claws to be my favorite weapon due to all the status inflictions that can happen. But that's just personal preference. Oh man, look at all these dudes. I mean, what dudes? And they were gone. Alright, well, we got over here a whole lot of nothing. It's very exciting, I know. And over here, we got a whole heaping helping of, uh, well, there's a, there's a climbable wall. So we'll go ahead and climb that wall. Oh, I think it's just for a box. Hold on. Okay, explosives is nice. Thank you very much. And I believe that is it, unless there's like a sneaky secret wall, but I... This game doesn't really have too many sneaky secret walls from what I can remember. So it's okay. Go ahead and make our way back. And we'll keep exploring. Up here we got this guy. And that guy's no more. This way, I believe, leads back to the start. So I don't want to go that way. No, I don't want to use exit. <laughs> yeah, make exit the first spell. That's, that's, uh... That's not going to cause anyone to have any issues with accidentally, um causing themselves to end up in a situation where they go the wrong way. I mean, use it badly. Also, I think it's the only way I can go, so... I might be misremembering where stuff is. Nope. Okay, down it is. I believe down is the only way I haven't gone, so down will be the way we go. And so we encounter more ninjas, but they're really zombies, so it's, it's all good. Here, have a charm claw. He didn't like that. He decided to stare at me. And the zombie, it didn't do anything. And then the zombie, it didn't do anything. And the zombie, it got hit and died. Poor thing. 
Okay, we got multiple choice again. I'm gonna head this way because it leads to nothing. It's, it's a very exciting bit of nothing, I must say. I mean, just look at all this nothing here. It's beautiful. I'm still not exactly sure what it is that we're surrounded by. Is it like... Uh, the ghosts of uneaten pasta, maybe? I don't know. It's all the sauce. Uh, I guess I'll go for uh, my blizzard. And it's probably the best option I got. Now that I actually have seeds, it's like I might as well make full use of my spell repertoire, huh? And I'll just keep getting more mun muns and keep using all those mun muns to get more seeds as time goes on. It'll be a nice little cycle. And this seems to be the way to go. You can't go that way. Oh, no, no, no. There's a ninja. Except, once again, it's a zombie, so... Uh, don't make that mistake, yo. Don't go calling zombies ninjas, because the ninjas will feel insulted. I've leveled up. How is my magic slash... How's my skills at? 100 attack, 75, 40 magic. Well, I don't know how good that is. So, uh, I think going down is a terrible idea, so to the right it is. And we have another fight! And let's strike first. I, I will strike first. As you have wished. Oh, great and glorious game. Mm. What am I doing? One more? I should probably mm. seed soon. If I wish to succeed, I should seed. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, just check to see if there's anything of interest around here. Uh, from the looks of things, no, that was, that was, that was great. I'm just, I'm just gonna do a quick loop. It's, it's not too big a deal, at least. That's a way to get back. So that leads to places, one of which is this way, and that looks like it'll probably lead to a bunch of nonsense. So I might want to check that after I, uh, do a little, um, uh, beat the last dude here. <sighs> So deal with that guy, take him out, and now we'll go and say hello to a guy right after I have a lovely seed smushed into my face. I'm ready for action. Let's go fight this guy. It's boss time! It's Jim! How you doing, Jim? Oh, I set him to auto accidentally. Okay. Jim is just beaming here. He does 3 2 1. Here, Jim, have a snowman. No, I don't think Jim liked the snowman. Alright, well, uh, you blizzard, you attack this guy. So that takes care of uh, Jim's friends, the Red Bones. And he's using Flame Power. Okay. Ow. Uh, I'll go ahead and. Yeah, use exit on the guy. That'll surely work. You can use exit on enemies, and it might make them go away, but... Well, that might hurt a bit. Ooh! It's a good thing I'm using cure on both. Alright. Uh, let's go for the old thunder. Ha-cha! Ow. Okay, I should probably heal again. No, no, don't exit. I really wish I could rearrange spells in this game, but I don't think you can. Ow. Owie. Okay, I'm just going to cure specifically myself. And Ruben, you keep on hitting the guy in his belly flab. And everything will work out well. Oh, I'm, I'm actually causing him to lose out on some of that belly of his. So, you know, clearly that means I should shock his belly some more. Take that. Oh! He's shrunken into ghost form. Now he's a ghost. 
when I say that. I say deal 1200 damage. And that's that guy dealt with. Oh, I need a bunch of things like explosives. How nice. Explosives. How nice. Explosives. How nice. And explosives. How nice. Yeah, we're close enough. Dad, stand back. ka -chaw! There we go. Boulder! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. We did it. Yeah! Head home! Alright, we got to return to Furberg. So, what is up here? It's the only place I haven't explored before we leave. It could just be a way back. Uh, well, there's a skeleton. Uh, die? It seems me saying that was good enough. And, yeah, it looks like, yes, this loops back to here. Okay, we are ready to leave, so I can just put you... And we're out. Oh, right. Uh, I might as well go say hi to uh, the sealed temple here real quick. Hello. I do have 10 GP for a cup of co Hey, I didn't give it to you yet. Come on, man. If you want that coffee... You gots to wait for us. Welcome to Aquaria. Actually, no, this is the wintry temple. I think there is a warp to Aquaria in uh, the house in Fireburg. But, yes. That's that's how it be, yo. Let's see. Was it, was it, was it this house? Oh, here's, here's Louise's house. But that's not where I needed to go. I wanted to find the uh, the hourglass house. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah. Was this an hourglass? It was. And here we are in Aquaria. Yep. Ta-da! Same exact house, basically. They're basically twins. Hiding out together or something. Look at that. It's like we barely went anywhere. Because we didn't. Alright, next time we continue our journey in the fiery Fireberg and see what else lies beneath the veil of I don't know where I'm going with this.